Hey Raider Nation, can you see me? Can you see me? What's going on? Miles Burris here, if you don't remember me or can't recognize me. No, I am not homeless, but I'm not necessarily employed either. Um, skip that other picture. So we're gonna do some pictures today. The first picture was me coming out of the tunnel. I grew up going to Raiders games, so I watched you know, Lincoln Kennedy, all the old greats, Rich Gannon, all these guys coming out of the tunnel and I would get seats and I'd, that'd be my favorite part of the game is seeing these guys with their game faces on ready to get out there and go to war. And I got to do that. And so that was pretty surreal, you know, glory days. Just memories, okay. So this little man right here is definitely the greatest thing that's happened to me post Raiders career. Stolen Big Papa's heart. The best part of waking up every day is being able to see that smile with no teeth in it. And I thought it was only fitting to include the Raiders hat on his head. Who knows? You know, maybe it would be what, uh, Raiders 2041 draft coming to you. Bo Miles Burris coming in hot. So obviously I had to include this one right there with the GOAT, Charles Woodson. I got a front row seat to him pumping up the team before the game. And uh, this will be pumped up and framed in my man cave one day. Because uh, Charles Woodson is, he's a GOAT. He's a legend. I was always learning by example from him. He was a great leader. And that's exactly what I'm doing in that picture right there is listening to some greatness. Okay, this one right here, I had to include because it was just a great feeling. We had just beaten San Francisco. It was the Battle of the Bay. We were at home and we won. I was throwing up the O because Charles Woodson did that and he was like the coolest guy I ever knew. And also a little side note on that is my wife told me around that time I wasn't allowed to wear cargo shorts anymore. It's my favorite kind of short. And my main argument with her is I know Charles Woodson's cool. He wears cargo shorts. So this picture for sure is my favorite memory of my career. And I'll tell you why. So rookie year, we're playing the Jaguars this upcoming week, playing well. So a couple days before the game, Dan Fouts and the other guy announcing the game you know, interview me, they're getting some talking points. I tell Dan Fouts in that meeting, I said, yeah, you know, uh, my, my dad sacked you in college. And, and they thought that was kind of funny and they thought maybe they'd bring it up, but I had to make something happen in order for them to bring it up, you feel me? So they send me on a blitz in the game. Ah, 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 I'm running through and crack. It was a pretty good hit too. Uh, I sacked the quarterback. You just feel this surge. I might've been the only one feeling it, but it felt like maybe the crowd was sinking with me. Everybody's, you know, crazy. You can see the quarterbacks behind me because I sacked him. He's, he's behind me in that picture. So anyways, the other guy was like, hey, Dan, you know, his dad sacked you in college. And then they showed my dad on the big screen. And he's like, yeah, because that's what old guys do when they're celebrating. They're like, yeah, two thumbs up because I don't know what else to do. It's like now when I celebrate, it's just double biceps. OK, that's enough. All right. So this picture right here, awesome memory, another first. So I'm in. Carolina, my rookie year, we're playing the Panthers. And the week leading up to this, we had put in a new call where for whatever reason, they were gonna send me uh, to play the middle third of the field like a safety would. So I have to bail, you know, before the play is snapped. And so Cam Newton's up there spitting out the cadence. And I'm like, oh Jesus, help me because I've never done this before. Help me get a pick. I literally, that, that went through my head and I was praying. So I run back, boom. Ball's thrown, I break on it. Philip Wheeler deflects it, and I go and dive, make the interception. And you can see in that picture, I mean, I look like Dion with the ball in my hands. I'm trying to make the most of it, so I'm like Dion and down, and it, except my skill level is so far from his, I only made it seven yards and got tackled by an offensive lineman. And I tried to stiff arm him as well, thinking like, you know, it's on the Madden cover, that'll work for me, it didn't work. Um, but we got the ball back and it was really cool. And then everybody surrounds me and everybody's like, yeah. And I didn't know what else to do other than, uh, you know, water boy. I literally held it up and I was going, mama, I got the ball. Mama, I got the ball. These are all completely 100% accurate true stories. Ask anybody that was on the field that day. Ooh, is that Miles Burris with some pads on right there? A lot of you guys know I transitioned into being an actor. Uh, after football and so I wanted to include this picture this is me and some of my castmates uh, we got to do some really cool stuff in this it's gonna be a movie called safety I'm one of the leads in there that's gonna be coming to Disney Plus sometime in October is the last I heard so keep a lookout for that and uh, love you Raider Nation thank you for everything